Hello, I'm Gabriel with West Palm Dogs, and today I'm here with Echo and Max, and we are working on their go to bed. So what I've been doing is saying, Max, go to bed. Yes, Echo, go to bed. Yes, stay. So what I've been doing is having both on the mat, and they cannot break, they cannot move, they cannot interact with each other. Yes. Stay. And what is really good about this is that I can move around, stay. And they can keep their stay, stay. They're not break. We want to teach them that no matter what's going on in the room, no matter who is in the room, if we ask them to stay, they have to stay, no matter what. And this is very good. This is very good that they're not sniffing each other, they're not paying attention to each other. And I can be far away from them, which is really good. Also, another thing that's good is that the biggest distraction for a dog is another dog. And what I like is that they, they are not paying attention to each other, which is really good. Yes. Also, what was, what was um, good about this or impressive is that I was able to walk around them. Stay. Most dogs don't feel comfortable when we walk around them. But as you can see, there's no problem with me walking behind both of them, which is very good. Stay. So what I'm going to do now is go to another room and they cannot break. Stay. So I'm going to open this door. I'm off camera, I know, but they are not breaking. Close the door. And that's very good from them. It's very good that I can leave the room and they can keep their stay. So I'm gonna wait a couple seconds and then I'm gonna release them. But this was very, very good from both of them. All right, so now I'm gonna do, tap them on the head, that were okay, and they release. That was very good from both of them. If they don't want to move, I won't force them to, but their go to bed and stay was very, very good. Nice job, guys.